This shoe is actually too good. It's On's most cushioned shoe, yet it just delivers so much more. Right into the specs. So these are a max cushion shoe and they weigh 275 grams or 9.7 ounces. I have mine in a size eight and they fit like a glove or maybe I should say sock. True to size could not be truer. They also have a six millimeter drop from heel to toe. The shoes come in six colors for men and six colors for women. Personally, these are my absolute favorite. These are the best looking shoe in the world. On have built in a radical shaped rocker for a forward rolling motion. So they have On's signature cloud tech and they actually have the largest cloud elements in any On shoe combined with their ultra powerful speed board. This should result in an extremely soft landing and maximum rebound for the most energy return when you're out on the road. According to On, it's designed to be weird for a reason and all about performance. It's running on clouds with the volume turned up. Right, so the many, many things I like about this shoe. First of all, they are the most comfortable shoe I've ever put on my foot. They are ridiculously comfortable. I would compare them to slippers, but I don't wear slippers, so we'll go with the comfiest shoe I've ever worn. They just really fit well, and as I say, they are so true to size. I always get an eight in ons, and they always just feel great. So many shoe companies, I'm jumping around with the sizes, I'm a size up in Hoka, or I'm half a size down in another, and for these, it's just every time I just go like eight, and they fit perfect. And with that perfect fit, just comes that ultimate comfort. They just feel so good when you're out running. It's such a smooth ride and they're just so comfortable. I just want to wear them every day. I almost bought a second pair. I had them for about a week and I was so close to just buying pair two just to wear every day. I actually ended up wearing them for about three weeks and running in them and I had to stop because they've just started to stink because I've run a lot of miles. I can't just wear them out around when they absolutely reek. So that leads us straight onto this cushion. They are really monster on cushion and it's really good. A lot of cushion shoes, they take away that responsiveness. However, these just don't. Combined with that speed board, this is ridiculous. You have this ultra smooth ride that's really comfortable for a long run. I can go out and smash 23 mile training run in these, take it nice and easy, and they feel absolutely great, really cushioned. My feet feel in good condition when I get back. And then next day, I jump out and I hit intervals with them, or a tempo run, and they just feel great there as well. The laces are a massive plus. They lock you down really well. I always love on laces. They just seem to bind super well. I've never had any trouble with them. I've done really long runs in the pouring rain. They just don't come undone. They bind so well. Never really had a problem with the laces at all. Uh, I actually think they help and they look really good. The responsiveness, so we talked about the cushion and I talked about running intervals in these and they are so responsive. I was really surprised. I bought these shoes thinking these are gonna be great for long run day. They're gonna be nice and cushioned. I'm gonna feel really comfortable the whole run and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna think, oh, that's nice. I ran the whole run in slippers. I feel great. And then I stuck them on, I went for my first run, and I was like, I just wanna run faster. And I was like, let's stick these on a tempo run. I got a tempo run on Friday, let's do that. So I did that, and I was like, well, these just feel like a race day shoe. They're amazing, they're so responsive. You just feel everything. You get so much energy return from them, and that's just because of this speed board. And they say about this rocker and this rolling forward motion, I don't really do that. I land on my forefoot, and they don't take away from the way I land. So even though I'm not using them how they maybe were designed, they still feel like a really great shoe and just give me so much back. And the responsiveness is just absolutely brilliant on them. The upper is absolutely great. These feel, for me, they feel like the cloud flow, which I thought was brilliant. And they're so breathable. They've got loads of little perforations in here, yet it doesn't snag. I've run on some gravel paths with these, had loads of stones flicking up, and they're absolutely perfect condition. I've run a lot of miles in these, and yeah, no real snags at all. They're looking great condition, but it's still super lightweight and really breathable. Then we have the speed board. So the speed board is just wicked. It just propels you forward. As I said about the responsiveness, that just ties in with this speed board. 
I want to take these on every single run. There's no day where I'm thinking, right, what have I got today? Or oh, I can't use these for that. Every day I want to use these. I have to fight myself to use a different shoe so I don't just run in the same shoe every single day because I just would. I'd use these for everything. I'd just buy 10 pairs of them just use them every day. They're so nice. Tempo runs, so fun in these. I've got a 5K time trial coming up. I'm gonna use these, because it's just gonna feel great. And I just know that I'm gonna get so much response from them, yet so much cushion. I'm gonna run a flat out 5K, come back, be absolutely knackered, look at my feet and be like, yeah, but they feel fine. So why not? These are just so good. And then finally we have the durability. I've run maybe 200 miles in these. I haven't had them very long, but I've absolutely smashed the miles in them and I love them. They're just so good on any day, whether it's wet, dry, icy, I just jump out in these and just go for it, smash them. Even warm days, the breathability allows me. So they're super versatile and super durable. So that just allows me to use them every single day and it's amazing and they look in, other than being really muddy, they look in really good condition. And I'm sorry, but I just don't really care that much about cleaning my shoes. So as we know, no shoe is ever perfect. And there's two things that I would love to slightly change about this. So first up is the heel. So the heel counter itself is perfect. It's just this heel. Now on, don't often do a really plush heel. The only one I can think of is the Cloud Flyer. And I just wish this had a slightly plusher heel. It's a super comfy shoe and it's really nice. I, I just find myself going, mm, just love it if that was a little bit plusher, had a little bit more cushion to it and just was maybe just a bit softer. It's the only thing that I think is a little bit maybe harsh on this shoe. It's cut off quite square and I just think it'd be nice to have a slightly plusher heel. However, it doesn't really take away that much. It's not something I think about often, but if I'm nitpicking, I'd go, oh, I'd like a bit more cushion there. And then the other thing is the traction. So the traction seems really good until you get to a wet descent. Now, I say this about most road shoes, when you get to a wet descent, the traction is lacking, but not all. You obviously can fix it because I haven't said that about every pair of running shoes I've run in. So I'd just like the tread to be a little bit more sticky, just so I have that confidence on the downhills. Now I have a lot of confidence to run absolutely flat out in these shoes, in the dry, in the wet. The only time is if it's in the wet and it's very steep downhill. Now I'm talking a steep hill. If it's a slight hill, I don't care. I'll just go for it. But if we're talking steep, I'm starting to be careful. There's only a couple of pairs of shoes that I've really absolutely gone for it on a wet descent and gone, okay, yeah, this just binds and I don't care. I can go for it and I don't feel like I'm going to take my chin off. So overall, these shoes are just insane. I had such high expectations when I bought them. So I love on shoes. I'm just a massive fanboy of on shoes. So that really helps but I had such high expectations for a really good cushion shoe that I could run lots of miles in. And then they just delivered and gave me so much more because I just went, right, these do exactly what I wanted them to do, but I can also use them on tempo day and interval day and race day. Like, if I'm gonna run a marathon, these. If I'm gonna run a 5K time trial, these. They just give and give and give in so many areas and it's amazing. These shoes really are the best of both worlds. Max cushion, max comfort, with a speed board that just allows you to put that pace in. Right, so if I haven't sold you on these, then I have some other reviews up here, or if you'd like to just chat about training, then click on some videos over here. If you think I've earned it, please consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.